test, test for you as well. <laughs> Whoa! Hi guys and welcome back to the life of Nello. I can't believe I'm saying this again after, I don't know, too long. <laughs> so you guys know that I absolutely love Italian Greyhounds. They are the breed for me. But I always keep telling people that it's definitely not a breed for everyone. So in today's video, we'll talk about when an Italian Greyhound is not the right breed for you. Let's get started. This feels weird. I'm so sorry it took us so long to upload another video. Don't forget, it is a lot of work, not only filming the videos, but also editing them. And um, as much as we enjoy it, we don't always have the time to do it. I'm really hoping that we will get back to our routine. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Don't get an Italian Greyhound if you have to leave them home alone for a long time. They are a breed that likes to spend as much time as possible with their owners. They are very clingy, very attached to them, and they would really suffer if they have to stay home alone for the whole day because you're at work, for example. That's definitely a no-go. I get messages all the time on Instagram where people ask me, well, I have a full-time job and I won't be able to bring my dog to work. Do you think an Italian Greyhound would be okay for me? And no, my answer is always no. If you live on your own and if you don't have anybody who can take care of your dog while you are at work and if you can't bring them to work, then don't get an Italian Greyhound. But when Nello was a puppy, we trained really, really hard to even be able to leave him home alone for a few hours. Up here or here, I don't know. I will link the video um, what to do to prevent separation anxiety. But even with the best training, I would not recommend to leave your Italian Greyhound home alone for longer than let's say three to four hours simply because they would suffer. I've heard of Italian Greyhounds who can stay home alone for longer than that, but most Italian Greyhounds are definitely not happy with this situation. So if that is the case, Italian Greyhounds especially are not the right breed for you then. Okay, so that leads us to another topic. Number two, don't get an Italian Greyhound if you like to have an independent dog. <laughs> Because as you can see, Nello is always with me. An Italian Greyhound is usually not the kind of dog who will just sleep all day long in a dog bed anywhere in the house. They usually follow you around and want to be very close to you. I don't think I've ever met another breed that's more affectionate and clingy and, you know, part of your life. Like they literally are a normal family member. It doesn't really make a difference probably if you have a child or an Italian Greyhound. Of course, there's different like types amongst the breed and some are more independent than others. I would say they need your attention much more than other dogs, right? <laughs> so if you prefer to have privacy <laughs> and if you prefer to be able to do things on your own, <laughs> then don't get an Italian Greyhound. And number three, if you don't like dogs that have to wear clothes, then an Italian Greyhound is definitely also not the right breed for you. There are some people who just dress up their dogs because they think it's cute and funny, but in this situation with an Italian Greyhound, it's a necessity. It's not just because of course it is cute, but that's not the only reason. Italian Greyhounds, they don't have an undercoat and also as you can see, no fat and also very, very short hair. And when it's below around, well, for Nello, it's below 10 to 12 degrees, he will start shivering really, really bad. <clears throat> and without clothes, he can get sick very easily. Actually, it's happened to us in the first year when Nello was... <clears throat> What's wrong with my <clears throat> voice? <clears throat> <clears throat> So in the first year, Nello even got sick once because uh, I totally underestimated that he really does need clothes when it's cold and then he, yeah, he had a cold. So if you live in a climate where it does get below 15 degrees, you won't be able to come around making your dog wear clothes. If you would be embarrassed 
of that or if you just don't like dogs who wear clothes then don't get an Italian Greyhound. <laughs> so okay guys now I told you when an Italian Greyhound is not the right breed for you. If you have anything else to add for others uh, to be prepared please leave a comment in the comment section and yeah I really really do hope that we get back on track and that we will upload more videos now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave us a like and a follow and a comment and then we'll see you soon hopefully. Bye!